You're watching Boxing Entertainment TV. exploit that but so far in the first round Berto is busier and down goes Berto on a hard left hand by Ortiz and Michael Ortega is not going to rule it a knockdown he's going to say that Berto tripped over Ortiz foot if you go down the result of a blow landing anywhere above the waist and it did even if it was a grazing blow he blocked he wouldn't have went down there I've been hit Berto staggered again straight left hand by Ortiz and Berto does go down in the corner this time. So now Ortiz has the credit for the knockdown that he didn't get the first time around. And hey, when you go on, Berto right. has a whole new respect. Right. They didn't produce anything like the fireworks we saw in the first round here. Good uppercut by Berto. Break, let him out. Break, step back. Ortiz is trying to land one more. And remember, he's another southpaw who is basically a right-hander. Berto has a look of concern in his eyes, unlike anything we've seen during his professional career. Him down in the first round, that he was able to take that punch the way he did. All of our team punches are very There's the right hand south. again, and now Berto has a knockdown. That's an official knockdown. But it's, it's we wait to see if a boxing match will emerge from the slugfest, which has taken place so far. But they're back to slugging again. But I, Berto is still never to me fully recuperated. So it's probably due to balance, but from the first round. Even though he landed the knockdown, Ortiz wasn't hurt that bad when he got up as compared to the way Berto was when he went down. Uppercut lands for Ortiz. Berto let him go, holding let him go, on. Let him go. Ortiz is fighting like a young man possessed. He's had a big first round. He's having a big third. Berto hasn't yet seen the uppercut coming. And painted twice. Now he lands the right hand again. So you're free. Number round one and two. But round three, Victor Ortiz took it to Andre Berto laying on the ropes. I mean, I agree with you. I don't know why he kept motioning him in. Because every time Berto would motion for Ortiz to come in, Ortiz would win. Again, Berto motions him in. What is that? that Manuel, why is he doing that? Why is Berto is hurt still. He's hurt. And he's tired. Big left hand by Berto. Ortiz Russell. walked right through it. There you see the legs. That's why he's in the ropes. Because of the legs. If Ortiz would go to the body a few times, he might. Were it not for his second right hook inside by Ortiz. Ortiz still physically dominant into the fifth round. Ortiz testing Berto's legs once again. That's tradition, the Golden Gloves. Emmanuel, weren't you a national Golden Gloves champion? Yes, but he was in New York Golden Gloves. <laughs> Just making the distinction for you. <laughs> Down goes Ortiz on a perfect right hand shot by Berto. Second knockdown of the fight for Berto. And you can feel the fight. Changing perceptibly Eight. in this round. Hard right hand by Berto. That was a spectacular shot. Berto has the clock is ticking out, so he's trying to get that one shot out. It's been a great round for Berto. Yep. After he was in so much trouble through the first five. His uppercut is good, too. Now Ortiz is going to... Oh, my God! Unbelievable. What a fight! George Foreman and Ron Lyle stand aside. And for any fight that he's won. It's amazing that the power to steal, even though six rounds to three, Victor Ortiz. There's no question that Andre Brunner's got to do something spectacular in the welterweight division. And that this is the first Looks fight. Looks like there's a new welterweight in town, and his name is Victor Ortiz. And this is the first fight Ortiz has ever fought at this weight. Back for a minute and have Berto off balance. Berto looks really out of it. At this point, Emmanuel, he has, he has created for himself a style which is about risk. And he just got hit with two big shots by Andre Berto. WBC welterweight champion of the world, vicious Victor Ortiz.
Ortiz. A tremendous win for Ortiz. The first to all the Filipino boxing aficionados. Please leave your comment, like and share this video and don't forget to click the subscribe button. This has been your channel, Boxing Entertainment TV.